Alrighty, I have a construction update for you guys today. Um, so I had my little groundhog out doing the reporting for me. Um, and what they found was Tundra Twister was cycling. Um, it was doing twisting. It was doing turning. It was doing all the sorts of things. So um, a huge thank you to my new team member, the groundhog, for doing all the reporting for me. I'm kidding. That was so cheesy. Just cut. <laughs> um, but no, seriously. Theming has been installed at Tundra Twister. Um, so what you're about to see is a ton of theming. They have mine carts. They have a lot of the Halloween props. They put everything out. It's honestly going to look really good. Like, even from above here, like, it's got quite a bit of theming in there. If you look closely, there's a lot of little small things, too, hidden in the trees, um, in the forest as well. And in the queue line area, along the queue line, they put some props down as well. There's still a really mysterious object under that orange tarp, okay? Um, I want to keep an eye on that, because that's been under that orange tarp for a while now. It looks like it could potentially be an electrical box, but it also looks like it could not be an electrical box. I find it interesting just because it's been covered in tarp for so long, and it hasn't been used yet. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. Um, Timberwolf Falls it started its um, commissioning, uh, getting ready for opening May 19th, so that's really exciting. Snoopy's Racing Rail... Oh, no, not yet. Still Tundra Twister, so I <laughs> zoomed in here for you guys um, to just get a closer look at some theming. Um, they got a really cute fence out front as well. The elevator is almost complete. They're just finishing up some final touches. Um, and if you look really closely, um, some final theming has been installed on the actual exit platform. Um, and the op booth, uh, should be getting some theming too. The sign for Tundra Twister isn't up, but it looks like the test seat is out. If you look really closely just to where you're about to enter the queue line, you can see the test seat right there. So that's really cool. Um, so just waiting for that epic entrance sign. Um, it could be there. There is a spot for it right there that I can't fully see from this angle of the drone. Um, but yeah, we'll keep a close eye there. Um, we got the raising and lowering of the platform. And I wanted to show you guys because it's actually really quick. Um, and it's a really cool process. So I thought I'd show you guys here. Uh, it's super smooth. I really like the look of the raising and lowering platform on this device. So if you look really closely, um, it's those little round cylinder things that are pulling it down. So um, just wanted to show that up close. Snoopy's Racing Railway is opening this weekend or should be opening this weekend. Um, from what we're hearing. So just some final little maintenance Wonderland touches. Training is done. Commissioning is done. All that. So you should see this ride open on Friday would be my guess. So hit up that park on Friday. Bring, you know, your your cousin, your family member, um, anything <laughs> to get on the ride. Because, again, you're going to require a child to get on this ride. Um, they have a new fast express entrance for anyone that doesn't have a stroller, a bag, um, or any items. Uh, so definitely that's super awesome. That's going to help with, um, congestion at front gate. And yeah, Tundra Twister is still not handed over to the park. This is not a good sign. And I'm not saying that to be like something bad's happened. What I'm saying is it's just taking a little longer than I would have anticipated. But again, just to remind you, I don't know what it takes to, um, commission, uh, a brand new ride that's never been built before. So it could be a lot lengthier of a process, um, than I'm aware of, and most of you are aware of. So yeah, give it, give her some time. Um, I do know that there is a, actually, I'm not going to say that right now. Um, the park is trying to hurry up as fast as they possibly can to get this open. It is their goal to get it open as soon as possible. I will say the good news is this was cycling for a large portion of the day today. Not this, when I got to the park at 4 30 PM, it was doing a bunch of this garbage nonsense stuff. Um, but then when you're about to see is one test cycle, I will say, I don't know. Every time I watch a test cycle myself in person, I'm not that impressed, but there is that one video of it doing some awesome stuff. So I guess it really depends. It's obviously like a, you know, every ride is different and they're still programming the ride by the looks of it. I have not seen any signs that they've picked a program or have finalized any program. I've seen this thing go around four times. I've seen this thing go around three times. I've seen this thing go around once and then it stops. For example, the test cycle you're about to see i think it goes around twice and then it stops so definitely really intrigued as to um what the final uh ride cycle is going to be um my team you know the groundhog and me will be watching this thoroughly and we will be reporting on anything or any changes that we see to any ride cycles so stay tuned to our youtube tiktok instagram 
reels, all that jazz. Um, for any details on Tungeon Twister. And yeah, stay tuned, guys. I am working on um, hiring uh, a team and maybe bringing back some old faces to the team as well. Amusement Insiders has outgrown me. And I mean that as a compliment. Um, I, For those of you that don't know, I have a salary job, um, which means it's a full-time job. And Amusement Insiders has gotten to a stage where it is a full-time job, like a full time job when i am not at work i am at wonderland um and i enjoy it and i would never give that up and i'm never changing that um but it requires some help so i've admitted to myself that i need support i need help um and i am seeking help i am finding the right people the right personalities to vlog um kind of be like amusement insiders in the park when i'm not there and um, yeah, uh, some other fun stuff too. So stay tuned. I'm not ready to announce anything yet. I am working on um, some stuff. Yeah, so keep an eye out. Did I? Wait, what? I didn't realize that when I filmed this, but I don't know if you just saw that one gondola there was stuck upside down for a really long time. But yeah, um, <laughs> outside of that, some really fun, exciting things happening with Amusement Insiders. And I really appreciate you guys helping elevate, um, you know, the channel to a place that I never imagined. And it's only going to get better. Like, I'm really committed to making this, like, a really awesome thing. So I promise you, I am using um, every bit of money I make from this channel right now is literally going back into the channel. So stay tuned because I'm buying some pretty cool tech um, and I'm investing in some pretty cool talent, meaning like, you know, I'm, I'm hiring people that I'm actually going to be paying. Um, so yeah, anyways, thanks so much for watching the channel and supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. Um, have a good one. Bye.